Assalamualaikum class how are you all i hope you all are fine i am your teacher from the educators fm campus students take out your maths book and open page number 81 today we are going to learn about the time types of clock analog clock digital clock analog tell the time with the help of the hands and digital clock tell the time with the help of the digits the big hand of the analog clock is the minute the small hand of the analog clock is the hour the hand that is moving at the fastest speed is the second hand the long hand is the minute hand and the short hand is the hour hand now coming toward the time facts there in one minute there are 60 second in one hour 60 minutes in one day 24 hours in one week 7 days one month 30 days and in one year 12 months reading a clock when a new hour start the long hand always point to 12 and the short hand to the hour like this the long hand point towards the 12 and the short towards the hour at half past the hour the long hand points to 6 and the short hand to midday between the past hour and the next upcoming hour in the half past the long hand points towards the 6 and the short hand means the hour hand points towards the mid between the previous and the upcoming time at quarter past the hour the long hand points to the 3 and the short hand to a place a little after the past in quarter past the hour the long hand points towards 3 and the hour and the short hand to place a little after the past at quarter the long hand points to 9 like this and the shorter hand to place little before the next hour before the next hour at 12 o'clock both minute hand and hour hand points to the 12 on page number 83 exercise number 1 what time does each clock show the first one has been done for you the short hand points towards the 9 and the long hand points towards the 12 so that mean it's 9 o'clock in the second one the short hand points between the previous and the upcoming time and the long hand towards the 6 so that that's mean it's half past 12 so we will write half past 12 here half past 12 like this in the second one the short hand points between the previous and the upcoming time long hand towards the 6 so that mean it's the half past 10 So we will write half past ten here. Okay, now class, you have to solve this page by yourself. Moving towards page number eighty-four. Draw hands on each clock to show the given time. The first one has been done for you. Now you have to draw the hands here. Look at the first picture. The short hand points towards two, and the long hand points towards the twelve. Two o'clock. In the second one, half past five means we have to point the short, point the short hand like this. And long hand like this. It's mean half past five. The next is six o'clock, so we will point short hand towards the six and long hand towards the twelve. That's mean it's six o'clock. Quarter to twelve, so we will make the short hand here like this, and the long towards the nine. Quarter past one, so we will make. small hand like this and long hand like this okay now class coming towards the next picture half past 7 so what we what we will do we will make short hand towards the 7 and the long hand towards the 6 it's the half past 7 okay now class As this was the end of your today's class. I will meet you in the next class. Till then, take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.